Hey y'all, I just wanted to get on here and talk about slime mold. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about what this nasty dog vomit looking stuff is in my beds this season. Uh, it's caused by high heat and humidity. So uh, basically it's a perfect environment for it to take uh, root and really uh, do its thing in the mulch. Basically what it is is actually uh, in the protista family, which is similar to like a single cell organism. Um, so it is uh, like an amoeba uh, essentially, and it actually helps decompose the mulch uh, in a, in, in different ways. So uh, basically it's helping to decompose that mulch. However, it looks really disgusting. Uh, there really isn't a uh, problem necessarily with it. Uh, it doesn't really do anything to your plants necessarily or, uh, or anything like that. It just looks really gross. Uh, so as far as actually controlling it, there's not a whole lot you can do other than you can physically remove it with a shovel, break it up with a rake, uh, something along those lines, or you can actually use like a surfactant based uh, spray on it. You just have to be careful around uh, other plants. So surfactant based would be like Dawn dish soap um, with some water and that would help uh, dissipate the, uh, the, the way that whole organism actually functions. So that is what is, uh, that's what it's all about. That's what it is. There's all different kinds. Uh, you've got yellow slime molds, you've got brown slime molds, you've got white and uh, some other types of slime, mold, slime molds, uh, but they're caused by high humidity uh, high temperatures, and that's what it's all about. Um, but they are really ugly in the landscape, so if you want to remove them, you can. They're probably going to come back. But they're actually pretty beneficial to the landscape in the decomposition of the mulch. Uh, but we tend to remove them just because we're trying to keep things looking pretty. Uh, so there's some different schools of thought there, uh, but I did want to uh, mention that to you and explain what those are. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or questions, please post below and uh, hopefully we can get back to you with the right answers or uh, maybe you can give us some more insight on, on this if you're an expert on slime mold. So we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.